I think it's really key what we've seen this past week is to remember that China really is a policy driven market and assessing policy direction and implementation really is key in terms of when you look at investing in China from a risk reward perspective. Now, it's very tempting to look at the education or the after school um, tutoring reforms that we have seen uh, coinciding with the internet reforms that we've seen since the fourth quarter last year. But we do see them a bit separately. You know, the education reform is really tapping into the overarching uh, three mountains focus that the government does have. Right. Um, what does that really mean for, for your investment and exposure to Chinese tech? So again, you know, it's just really assessing the risk reward. So in, in terms of, of the policy direction, again, when we look at the education policies, it falls under that category of, of demographics, so the three mountains. So keeping a close eye on any potential regulatory changes or policy changes when it comes to the property segment as well as healthcare albeit in the healthcare, our sense is that if we do see any reforms, it's probably going to be more on the generic drug side, um, further you know, medical insurance kind of names versus let's say the innovative drug manufacturers, which are really being underpinned still by the innovation story, which is really key for Chinese growth going forward. Right, but, but if you step back and zoom out and just take a broader, picture, uh, a broader view of the situation at hand, a 40,000 feet view essentially of the situation, you're saying that we've been here before. And we've, you know, we've come back from that point, essentially, in terms of investor sentiment bouncing back for Chinese assets. Walk us through that investment case. Yeah, so if we cast our minds back to 2018, uh, when the, the government or the regulatory bodies said that they weren't going to, or they were going to pause the issuing of new gaming licenses, so online gaming companies, and 10 cents share price corrected by almost 50%. Um, and as of last night, it was up from that low in June 2018 to um, you know, over 77%. At the high in January this year, it was over 200%. So, you know, what's really important is when we do see these regulatory changes, really trying to identify when we're going to see these regulatory changes or what industry will see these changes. But also, what is, is, is the positive is that the companies really do comply with the regulators when, when these changes do occur.